everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh and I'm reviewing Facebook. Uh, this was a nice gap last week and the reason I'm reviewing it is because I have called puts in this, in the options newsletter, 290 puts that, in fact, I'll tell you the day that I called it. I forget the day I called it. Let me look it up here. I called them January 28th, here, this day, <clears throat> it was a Friday, and it didn't drop then, then it reversed, so the trade was never up here, until here. So again, I called puts. Now, one of the things, again, I tell people as far as managing trades on the newsletter is what? Take a risk, take a set risk that you can afford to hold the train until and let it play out. What does that mean? It means the trade either goes and it's positive or the trade fails and it's negative. And then you lose in the trade pretty much the whole amount or almost the whole amount. It doesn't mean you hold every trade at the last day, but it means you give the trade a chance to work. I planned on and wanted this to work and thought it would work initially, but because the market pushed back on that particular week, let's go here to this. So that was the week of the 31st. It was, well, it was here. Because this did this, this did this too. Okay, I just went right with the market. And so this didn't drop to the earnings, which was here. But it was plenty of time to go because the trade expired on the 4th. Are you with me? So there were people that held that trade that made close to $5,000 in one contract. Depending on where they got out, it was well over $4,000. Got a bunch of nice emails from people. It was a nice move. So people that took the trade, actually, I, I, I had a couple emails from people. People that took the trade, held it, then made the money in the drop. Because again, it was a 290 puts in this open end of this morning at 244. So you see what it did, it was huge. It was $45 down from that, and then $50 plus from the low of the day. Um, then I had people that took it, it was down, killed it, and then retook it. And they actually paid less because they retook it before the earnings. I did not call that here, just so you know. This was less expensive. But anyways, they made money then holding it through too. So, you know, I, I always tell people give trades a chance to work. If you are risking too much money, you inevitably won't. You, you will focus on the money and you won't focus on the information. And for me, this was lower. It worked out. It all played out. So to have a stock open, you know, 50 points plus down and drop on the day like this did into the earnings to be in something is a huge win. Huge win. Because obviously anything through the strike is a big win. And it wasn't like it was Friday. It was Thursday. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't the last day. It was the day before. This came out Wednesday night. So I always tell people give things a chance. Give things a chance. And so take amount of risk you can allow the trade to play out. You're gonna do a lot better that way. Now, if this trade had dropped and fallen prior to the earnings and was profitable, then I would have got out. Then I wouldn't have taken a chance holding it through the earnings because the earnings could have been up. They weren't, but they could have been. But it didn't work out that way. Do you see what I'm saying? So again, congratulations to all the people that held this through and did the right thing. And then the couple of people that ended up retaking it um, we did talk about this a lot in the trading room last week. It was a really nice play. But again, I always tell people, take a risk that you can focus on what's going on in the chart. Focus on the chart. Again, everything I do is based on technical analysis. You'll learn that if you decide to take the Golden Gap course. Now, the newsletter is not the class. It's a newsletter. You can get a feel for things we're doing if you join the newsletter, but it's still not the class. So, I mean, taking the class teaches the information. The first class of 2022 is gonna be February 26th and 27th. If you wanna learn my gap strategy, that's how I knew Facebook was fall, rated the gaps, everything else. But as far as just doing the trades, you can sign up for the newsletter, there is no prerequisites. But I, I tell people, let trades play out and set your risk accordingly, because you're gonna miss out on things like this. This was inevitably the biggest trade last week and the biggest trade for many people that they've ever, ever, ever had to take one contract and make almost $5,000 is huge for people and just a massive win for many people's accounts, particularly people that had small accounts. So congratulations to those people. And if you'd like to sign up for the Gap Options newsletter, 
email me at melissa at the stock swoosh.com. Have a great day, everyone.